Hello everyone, my name is Christine Welgus with the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Paducah, Kentucky. And today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to navigate our webpage, www.weather.gov PAH, for use during severe weather. Now there is a lot of information available on our website and sometimes it can be a little daunting to find exactly what you're needing. So what I'm going to do is kind of highlight a few areas of our website that you may find useful during the next survey weather event. Okay, we're going to break this up into a couple of different parts, taking a look at different aspects of our website. The first section I want to talk about is the very, very top. The first thing you're probably going to notice when you go to our website. And this is where you're going to see the top news of the, of the day. These are going to be stories that uh, will be interesting to you about weather, about different things that are going on with the weather service. And one of the, of the things that we recently added was this recently issued section up here, uh, directly adjacent to the top news of the day banner. And this will be things like storm reports, uh, public information statements, and it is an easy way for you to just quickly click on the link and in this case, looking at the local storm report that was just issued. And in this particular case, it takes you directly to a, a site where you can go back several versions of this product. This product is called the local storm report. Anytime we receive reports from spotters or from emergency management agencies, things like that, we type them up and resend them out so that you have an idea of what is going on with the storms that might be heading your way. And it's a quick and easy way to see what might be happening with the storms that may be impacting you at a later time. And you can quickly go back different versions and see what has been happening. So that's a quick and easy way to keep up to date with the current weather situation. And again, it's just clicking on the link here next to the top news of the day banner. Um, in addition, to that, sometimes we'll link our multimedia briefings that we produce for you up at the top here. But if you don't see any link here at the top news of the day section, you can always click on this last tab here called multimedia briefing, and that will always bring you to the very latest multimedia briefing that we've created. If you click on that last tab there. The next section we're going to be talking about is the map in the middle of the page here. And this map can be utilized to take a quick look at what types of advisories, watches, warnings, outlooks are in effect for your immediate area. Now, the one problem with this map is that sometimes if you, if you have multiple products in effect for one specific area, things can get covered up. So the best way to see what is going on for your specific location is to click on the map exactly where you live. So what we're going to click on is very close to our office here at Barkley Regional Airport. And with one click of a button, you are able to get a seven day forecast, both in graphical format here along the top and also in text format down here below. But more importantly, under this red area here in this red box, you will see all the different advisories, watches and warnings that may be in effect for that specific point. In this case, there's a wind advisory the hazardous weather outlook has been issued for this area, and there's a short-term forecast. And you can, these are all clickable links, and when you click on them, they'll take you to that specific product. So a very easy way to find out what's going on in your area at that moment. You also have the current conditions here at the top, and if you scroll down even further on the page, there's all kinds of information from radar data, satellite data, hourly weather graphs that give you hourly temperature, precipitation probabilities, winds, all kinds of neat stuff. And then you have the National Digital Forecast Database, which can give you an idea for the whole region. Temperatures, you know, wind speeds, wind direction, all kinds of different things. And there's also other clickable links down here at the bottom. So again, with one click of a button, there's a wealth of information here that you can um, take a look at. The next section I want to talk about is down below this map. And we're going to take a look at these uh, graphical links here at the bottom. And the first one I want to take a look at and tell you about is something called the weather story. And the weather story is created every day by forecasters at the Weather Service Office. And basically it is intended to give you an idea of what the main weather story will be for our area over the next several days. And in this particular case, it was the fact that severe thunderstorms were a possibility on a Thursday afternoon. And in addition to the graphic that we create, there is accompanying text down below that will give you additional information. 
Now, when we have ongoing weather, whether it be some rain falling in the area or thunderstorms, whatever the case may be, a lot of times you'll see the short-term graphicast link show up here between the radar and the satellite pictures. And again, when you click on that link, the format is very similar to the weather story in which we have a graphic that depicts what may be going on, what we may think is going to be happening, and then again an accompanying text to explain to you what we're expecting over the next maybe one to three hours. So it's basically a short-term forecast of what we think might be happening. So take a look at that when we have uh, some weather in the area. It might help you do a little planning, may help you figure out what may be going on with the weather. So again, in addition to the weather story and the short-term graphicast, there's a link for the radar data, satellite data, and also the weather map. Now, during times of severe weather or winter weather, um, drought conditions, there will be a banner here underneath these um, graphical links here. In this case, uh, since we had severe weather that was forecast, this banner was showing up. And all you have to do is click on the click here and that link will take you to a very nice one-stop shopping web page that's going to have almost everything you may need to know regarding a severe weather episode. You've got everything from satellite data to observations, radar data, a graphical forecasts, forecast maps, and these are all clickable links. In the middle of the page, you have the day one outlook from SPC, any current watches that may be in effect, overlaid with the radar data. Down below that, there's that map again, again showing you where all the current watches, advisories, warnings may be. If you scroll down even further, you have all the texts for the warnings. Here's a tornado warnings. You can click on that, and it gives you uh, when, when the last tornado warning was issued. Okay, This was issued several days prior to when I was doing this video, but again, it just shows you the very latest tornado warnings. Severe so thunderstorm warnings are listed right below that, and then you have flash flood warnings. Below that, you have the Hazardous Weather Outlook, which is uh, written there in full for you to see. And then all kinds of other links here down below. And I invite you to go and investigate all of this. There's a lot of information here that's available for your use. In addition to having a national weather hazards map here, so you can see across the country, maybe you're traveling, what may be the hazards across that area that you're traveling to. You go down even further and you have, again, SPC's products from their watches to their mesoscale discussions to their outlooks. You also have information regarding rainfall forecasts, excessive rainfall forecasts. Scrolling down even further, you have information about, well, what does a tornado warning mean? Um, what does it mean when we issue a flash flood watch? Uh, just more educational ideas more than anything. And then the last section talks about, well, some reviews about past severe thunderstorm or tornadoes in our region, and then safety, brushing up on some safety skills that may help you um, stay safe during the next severe weather event. Okay, what I want to draw your attention to now is the left-hand menu here. And as you can see, there's different sections from current hazards, current conditions, forecasts, and so on and so forth. What I want to focus on is under the current hazards, there is a link here called Watches and Warnings. And this may be something that you want to have up in the background, uh, either during an event or before an event occurs. And when you click on that link, it takes you to this page. And basically, you're able to see what warnings are in effect in both the graphical sense and also listed here on the right-hand side. Tornado warnings in red, severe thunderstorm warnings in blue, and the flash flood warnings in green. And so you can quickly see what's going on in your immediate area. In this case, we have an example of a flash flood warning that was in effect for Crawford County in Indiana. You simply can click on that and it'll give you more information about the product that was issued. You actually can see what the area is that is under the gun for that flash flood warning. Um, you can actually click on the actual statement so that you actually can see what's going on, uh, read the actual text of the warning uh, in this particular case. Down below, the map and the text of the warnings are other links that may be useful to you. There is the Hazardous Weather Outlook, and when you click on that, you can read that. This is issued every day, every morning, by the National Weather Service Office in Paducah, and it is updated as needed, and it basically gives you an idea of the hazards for the next seven days, and we'll go into some depth as far as you know timing and what to expect weather-wise with this particular outlook that's issued. You also have a link for the local storm reports. 
This is the same exact link that I showed you earlier that's found on the near the top news of the day section. It's just another way to get to the same product. In addition, you also have links for the convective outlooks, which are issued by the Storm Prediction Center. One click of a button and you can see days one, two, three, and days four through eight uh, very easily from the Storm Prediction Center. The last section I want to talk about is under the additional info section on the left hand side menu. The first link there is called items of interest. And when you click on that link, these are a, diff a number of different links that simply we just didn't have room for on the home page. So they had a, kind of have a, a home here on the items of interest page. And the one section I want you to take a look at, and this may be for before a weather event occurs, is the weather education. And that link is found under the local information section of this web page. When you click on weather education, there are a number of links here that will take you to different either presentations or PDFs, different things that you can look at regarding weather education. And something that you may want to take a look at and kind of brush up on is weather safety and preparedness. You can click on that link and it takes you down the page to where that section is located. And there's a number of different websites here. There are also brochures in PDF format that you can take a look at, maybe even print out if you'd like a copy. But basically, it's a way to kind of get you in tune with the best ways to be safe during severe weather, uh, not only for severe thunderstorms, but tornadoes, flash flooding, lightning, even heat safety. So when you have time, take a look at some of those and brush up on your weather safety skills. Well, we've reached the end of our presentation. I hope you found it useful. As always, if you have any additional questions, concerns, or comments, please uh, reach us through our email and our phone number, which are both listed on the slide. Thanks for watching and have a great day.